I wasn't particularly impressed. Who's spamming my who's spamming my chat? What oh what area in Oakland am I in? Uh I am I am sort of by the Mormon temple, if you know where that is. Okay. I don't want to get too specific over here. What's moving on? So D, uh, Drake Jackson wasn't super impressed, needs to drop some weight and get it, start to look like an NFL vet. Kamoko Ture is everything I expected Drake, Drake Jackson to be today. Maybe Drake Jackson will be better than him tomorrow. But today, Kamoko Ture was the D4 replacement. It's not Samson Ebukam. Ebukam's an edge setter. He's a, he's a decent pass rusher. Kamoko Ture was, play, was playing opposite of Drake Jackson on the second team. And he was the guy that had the quick first step. He was the guy that was closing the distance with the offensive tackle instantly. He was the guy that seemed explosive. He was the guy that was dipping and getting under the offensive tackle's hands and winning. Teray was the guy that was winning. And you know what it looks like when an edge rusher wins in practice? He beats the offensive lineman. It's just him and the quarterback. And at the last minute, the, the edge rusher slides. Like he's stealing second base. That's what Toure did today. He did it repeatedly. And when he wasn't sliding to avoid touching the quarterback, the quarterback, i.e. Trey Lance, sometimes Nate Sudfeld, was st stepping up in the pocket, exiting, and scrambling. So that guy seems like a hell of an addition. I think, I don't know what Drake Jackson's going to do as a rookie. Maybe Drake Jackson ends up being an interior. He looks like a defensive tackle. I don't – Drake Jackson looks bigger than Arden Key to me. I Either he drops weight or maybe they use him like they used Arden Key last year because to me, Toure is that twitched up, lean, 255-pound D4 replacement. He's the one that – he's not as good as a healthy D4, but he looked really good today. I mean, he was given those backup offensive tackles the business, as he should have been, as Drake Jackson should have been. So, again, maybe Drake Jackson – is going to be the new Arden Key, the interior rusher. Although he, I didn't see him do that in college, but Arden Key didn't do that in college either. Frankly, right now, it looks like that's the body he's got, the interior rusher. I don't know. Maybe it's the number, 95. Have there ever been, has there ever been a good edge rusher with a 95 number? Teray is 53. That just looks faster. Anyway, you see what I mean when you see him. He looks, he's, he's smaller, leaner, quicker, more explosive, really good addition. To this team, I, I would think unless Drake Jackson really proves himself, the Niners are going to go with Toure as the edge rusher opposite Bosa on passing down. Anyway, definitely has that acceleration off the snap is very baller. Says that's what you want, right? Because the whole thing with the wide nine defensive end, there you are that player on the defensive line is the one furthest away from the quarterback. The one like the one on the weak side opposite the tight end is outside the offensive tackle but on the strong side that defensive end is outside the tight end so he's a whole further he's he's one gap further away from the quarterback that dude must needs to be super explosive off the snap otherwise be hard and key go rush in the interior maybe be great at that anyway Teray, great addition